So we have Carl asking. Hi, Carl. With Saxton wear, is it traditional to leave the jacket unbuttoned when wearing a waistcoat, but the button, but the top button, when wearing when not wearing a vest? What's the guideline for kilts? For kilts, generally, when you're wearing a uh, jacket and vest, um, you do not button the jacket at all. Correct. Usually. Yep. And the the kilt, you can leave the bottom undone. You do not have to. It's it's one of those kind of. Uh, Are you talking about the vest button? He's talking about the vest button or the just, he's, he's just talking the about jackets? Both. Okay. He's talking about okay. both. So for kilts, you don't button the jacket. For the vest, for the bottom button, you can leave it undone. You don't have to leave it undone. The the story is that it goes back to King. Oh, Edward. No, no, Edward. Yeah. Um, saying basically he got fat and left the bottom button undone so that way he could you know be more comfortable in his kilt while seated. I have no idea what that's about. Well, that was for that was for men's fashion in general, um, and what what he did, everybody did because he was the he was the trendsetter. That's where it's I was a myth. Going. People were yeah. people were leaving their bottom button undone for for ages before he did it. It's just like the myth was that he originated the custom. Um, I actually follow if it's a three button jacket, I would follow the same button conventions. Jacket or vest? Jacket. I'm going back okay. to the jacket. Okay. Um, you want to go back to vest? No, 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 no. When it comes to vests with a kilt, um, I actually button the bottom button of the vest because I just like how it looks better. Um, there's no rule you have to follow. You'll have people who think they know fashion saying, oh, you you shouldn't have your bottom button unbuttoned. Or, you know, yeah. You should have. Blah, blah, blah. Um, harumph. Harumph. But, now, uh, three-button vest, I would button the bottom, period. Yeah, how many people wear a three-button Because it's more formal. It's a three-button waistcoat. Well, a, for, for Prince Charlie. Yeah, you would never, you would never have a, a waistcoat unbuttoned. unbuttoned for something like that. Correct. Now, but never, for a five-button vest, maybe the bottom yeah. button you can. You don't have to. It's up to you. Yeah, but for the jacket, I actually, for something like an argyle, typical argyle cut, you have like what two buttons? One button or, or three one. generally. Yeah. Yeah. So with a one button, I wouldn't close it at all. Um, it just looks better open to be honest um but with a multi-button jacket i have occasionally followed the saxon convention of buttoning you know the second one down um and part of that's just for convenience in certain occasions um you don't want again because the sporn is the center of attention for the outfit it just generally will look better if you're not covering it and even a properly cut uh highland dress jacket the it's still going to kind of compete a little bit with the the, the sporn in terms of the line and covering up the top of it a little bit so Usually, guys just wear it open. But that said, for convenience's sake, or okay, you know, I will sometimes follow the Saxon convention and do the the minimal button thing. Agreed. Now, it's this is a modern sensibility. If you look at Victorian pictures, you'll see guys in like sack jackets and stuff where they've got the top button buttoned, and it just goes whoop, yep. you know, yep. um, which is what everybody was doing with their jackets back then. But with a the kilt, they did it anyway because that's, that's just how you wear a jacket. Yep. So, fashion is weird. Yes. Yes, it is. Okay, okay. so my turn Mr. again? Eric, yes. That's my line for the day. Fashion is weird. Are you not entertained? Thanks for watching. If you want to see more of our content, check out this stuff over here. Obviously, YouTube is where we do a lot of stuff, but we're also on Facebook. We are also on TikTok. And if you want to shop, wouldn't mind if you checked out our store. Take care.